Okay, so in my garage right now, like I said, the last time it ran was Sunday afternoon, so it's been sitting for a few days. Uh, I've got the camera towards the back of the car so you can see that it doesn't smoke uh, or anything when it starts up. So I'll go start it up um, and then start talking to you about it after that. So, yep. fairly low idle. Uh, there's actually an air pump running for emissions right now. It'll turn off in about a minute and the tone of the engine will change a little bit. But as you can see, it's it's really clean running uh, on the start. Uh, so open the hood and then start walking you around the car. Like you said, show you where, where a couple of the rust spots are. The worst is actually right here. I'll get closer to that. So, hope it's not too jerky here. Uh, here's a picture of the engine bay. A little bit of surface rust on some of the brackets, but nothing too bad. Front of the car, hope the lighting's good enough. There's a little bit of surface rust here and just some, some speckles from uh, rock chips and stuff over time. So really just chips in the paint. This driver's side fender here uh, has actually been replaced so the paint the paint doesn't quite match which you can see. Uh, there was no it was it was replaced because of a big dent in here but there was no structural damage. Hopefully you can see there's the air pump right there so now it's down to a low idle. Uh, it was fairly well undercoated so inside the wheel wells are are nice and clean. The bottom of the doors do have some rust, so I'll open up the door and show you that. As you can see, the door jams are very clean, uh, but when the car was last undercoated, the drain holes in the doors were plugged. Uh, so the bottom of the doors held some water and there's some rust on the bottom of the door seam. Here's the interior. Looks pretty good except for a tear in the, in the seat right here. As you can see about a 900 RPM idle and when it's fully warm that'll get down to about 800. We have a spot of rust here on the fender, but again the inner fender looks pretty clean throughout. There's a crack in the bumper here above the exhaust. And then this is definitely the worst looking spot of the car. So. There's some rust here by the fender. It actually looks like there was some Bondo from some sort of repair and some rust under it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's ugly. That being said, the inside of the fender well here is still all there. So, like I said, I think it was a bad dent repair done. And then the bottom of the passenger side door has the same rust. Again, the door jams are very clean. 
but there's rust along the seam of the bottom of the door. And here's the interior from the passenger side. Uh, I'm gonna try and get under the car and show you underneath. There's no, uh, actually no rust underneath. It's pretty well undercoated. I don't know if you'll be able to see very well here or not. But no rust on the floor underneath. And I'll go to the opposite side. Again, pretty clean under there. So now it's at about a full low idle. Runs pretty smooth, comes right back down to idle. So I'm gonna stop the video here, mount it on the, mount the camera on the sunroof, and go for a short drive. Okay, so here we are inside the car. Uh, about 30 pounds of uh, oil pressure at idle. And that'll pretty, pretty quickly come up to a little over 60 just off of idle. And again, now that it's warm, it's running about uh, 650, 700 RPM idle. Uh, fan works. Air conditioning's been removed because the condenser leaked. Heater works great. The uh, the vents all change, but this light won't turn on. And then the air conditioning button is actually still wired to an electric fan. So it comes up to a high idle, as if there was an AC compressor, and it, it turns on the electric fan in the engine bay. Uh, radio works great. It actually has a auxiliary input wired in. Um, doesn't doesn't sound fantastic, but the equalizer all all uh, works. All the lights in it work. So uh, now we'll go for a drive. And the pop-ups work. door to close. I've got to go sideways out of the driveway because it's got a pretty big dip in it.
has Hawk HP Plus pads in it, so they squeak a little bit when it's cold. Thank you. 